what it is is uh, that mm. uh, apes tend to have uh, 24 pairs of chromosomes, 48 chromosomes in all, but they're going to be in pairs, so they would have 24 pairs of chromosomes. Humans have just 23 pairs of chromosomes. So we're obviously not related mm. to them because we've only got 23, they got 24. But but what you will find is that there is this um, there's a strange phenomenon in uh, genomes when you you look at uh, genomes, you sometimes find that it appears as if um, two chromosomes have fused together and they tend to fuse together around a central core so you get uh, what's called centric uh, fusion and uh, that particular chromosome is chromosome number two in the human genome which uh, looks like two uh, fused chromosomes. Interesting. The argument is that there's mm. a lot of common data between the, um, the chimp chromosomes and the, the, and the human chromosome uh, chromos chromosomes so therefore they're saying well this fused one shows that we do actually uh, have evolved from uh, ape like ancestors it's just that two of the chromosomes on the ape are fused into one uh, one In pair humans. giving us uh, just 23 pairs so that's why we've only got 23 because of the fused ones yeah you know Ken Miller has really been popularizing this idea for a number of years I want you to take a look at a video that uh, they produced of Ken talking about this and showing how to him this is absolute proof of evolution check this out if humans share a common ancestor with apes you'd expect us to have the same number but surprisingly human cells contain only 23 pairs now if we share a common ancestor what happened is it possible that in the line of evolution that led to us a pair of chromosomes from a primate ancestor just got lost and just got discarded. Well, the answer to that is no, it's not possible. And the reason is because every primate chromosome has so many important genes on it that the loss of both members of a pair would be fatal. You wouldn't even get through embryonic development. So there's only one possible explanation. And that explanation is that in the line that led to us, two chromosomes that were separate in other primates became fused to form a single chromosome. Interesting. So is that what happened? Is that proof of evolution right there? Does that does that guarantee that that's what happened? Well, no, it isn't proof of evolution. And there are a number of reasons why it's not proof of evolution. But be, before we sort of get into that, I think we ought to comment as well that actually uh, Ken Miller is someone who claims a Christian faith. And this is why he is, uh, uh, I believe his background is Roman Catholic, but this is right. why he is often being used on this because people will say, well, look, there's one of your own. There's a Christian who says uh, that this evolution has happened and without getting into debates about different sorts of Christians <laughs> uh, at this point the point is that uh, he's claiming a sort of theistic evolution here correct saying hey obviously God must have used this because uh, here it is we see it happening isn't he approaching this information the, the fact that human chromosome number two looks like it's been centrally fused together it's got telomeres on each end but it's got a, a unique middle part is he yep. using this but looking at it from evolution already taking well, place to come to this conclusion? Yeah, this is the point. It's uh, the only, mm. you know, you see that the humans have got 23 chromosomes. Uh, what you don't, uh, what you isn't saying is that when you look at many other animals, you see the same effects. But in those other animals, people are not assuming that there is a line of uh, uh, evolutionary descent. It's only uh, being talked about with humans because he starts with the belief the idea. That, uh, that humans have evolved from a common ancestor with apes. 